So I just started, um, I got my first set of leads, so I'm making my calls, and it, it's going pretty good. The only thing that I'm finding with the people that I'm able to speak to is, you know, they're always wary about cost. And I'm trying to do my value proposition quickly, obviously, so I can get some rapport with them right off the bat. And I'm trying to get, you know, I, I have to convey to them, I feel, that there's no cost to them unless they use my, you know, unless they use my services. And even part of those folks on my hub that I have kind of nothing to do with, I think that they're thinking only because of how society is now, there's going to be a cost attached. So I'm trying to that, come up with a talk track that I can convey to them quickly within my value proposition that says that to them. So you can actually use that objection to your advantage because it's a great I, – I, I feel like we should do this in a role play. Are you comfortable role playing it instead of me talking at you? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll do that. Okay. So I'll just I'll, – the probate USP, I'll just start at the end. So, Rich, listen, we reach out to a lot of families early in the process because we know what a big difference it can make. And uh, so far, we've never met a family we couldn't help. So what's what's one thing you guys would delegate if you could today and make it, make it my responsibility, not yours? Yeah. First of all, who, who am I speaking to and, and how did you get my info? Oh, well, I should have started at the beginning because you wouldn't have given me that objection. All right. Let's, no, let's do this okay. the right way. Hey, I'm trying to reach Rich. This is. Hey, Rich, my name's Chad Corbett. Uh, you might have saw a letter from us earlier in the week. I just had a few minutes at my desk, and I wanted to follow up. Um, the reason I'm reaching out, we've got a team of folks here in Roanoke that help families going through probate. And as part of that, we actually meet with the clerk each month and figure out which families we should be reaching out to. And even at the risk of sometimes giving the wrong impression, we try to reach out really early because we know what a big difference we can make and, and the amount of money you can save and the, the amount of stress you don't have to deal with. So what's what's been the toughest thing for you guys so far? Well, first of all, what you know, can cuz I don't I'm not really familiar with what you do. Could you just email me like a summary with with some of the rates that would be attached to your services? Uh well there's there's probably 1434 things. Which one should I send you services information on? Otherwise, we could just talk about it. Okay, so, so I mean, that, that, just the way that, the way this the way we try to work with families, Rich, is if we can understand your your goals and your challenges and your situation, then we know exactly what to pull together. So think about it more like a, a customized quote than a menu. Um, you know, we're not going to give you a menu and say pick the things you need. We're actually going to hear you out, understand your situations, present to you options that we believe to be in your best interest. And regardless of whatever that is, I think I think what I'm hearing from you is you're concerned we're going to charge you some upfront fee or exorbitant fee. Every single thing that I will talk to you about, there is not one single service or or function that I will talk to you about that you don't get delivery on what we promised before anyone gets paid. So does that make you more comfortable knowing that we don't get paid unless we do what we promised? And if we don't, then we don't get paid. So you're not taking the risk. My team is. Does that make sense? Yeah, so so there's no up consultation fee. There's no other fees that are associated. No, with and it's, it's, a common, it's a common question that we get because when something sounds too good to be true, our, our, our cultural reaction is, well, that, that's got to be a scam. But what I'm telling you is if you give me the opportunity to prove up, I will do that. And I will do such a good job that you'll be happy to write that check. And if you're not, then I won't get paid. So like I said, I'm willing to take the risk. If you're willing to trust me, you don't have any risk. Yep. Okay, we can break there. Um, okay. Yeah, so, so I have to just, um, I guess it's just up to me to do a better job conveying no cost until you actually use the services and I have to do it quickly just to to engage and and have them stay on the phone so yeah and there's something if you haven't done this if you if you go to our private Facebook group so jump in there and jump in one of those little the, the little miniature role play groups that people put together independently and and just go in there and practice yeah I'll definitely do that I for sure will do that okay thanks so much for your time yeah thank you rich